Barrett. Johnson had too much on the gas, walked the line, and Van Dorn took him back. Below the announcement tower. Trying any way possible to get by Van Dorn. Let me tell you what they're doing, folks. They have picked up the pace. Van Dorn has picked up the pace until they are closing on the leaders.
Now Brian can only sweat it out. The problem is Brian's 
on the opening lap and then they are running way at the back of the pack. But out in front, American Rick Ryan, he's campaigning the entire 250cc world. Rick Johnson. Rick Johnson. Rick Johnson. Rick Johnson.
because there's so many bumps, you're either pulling or pushing with your uh, arms and you're uh, standing up or sitting down, you know, you're, you're making that transition so many times in a lap that uh, that's what wears you out, not so much the 45 minutes, but the intensity of the 45 minutes. Even if you're going slow, uh, this track is tough to ride around. But, but uh, the track in Hollister last year, um, there's nothing to compare. Um, I didn't even get tired there last year because it was so smooth. And uh, it's not really a motocross track compared to Unadilla. Bob, uh, you know, Rick, arguably, well, no, I'm going to say arguably, you are the best motocrosser in the world right now. There is no one any faster. There's no one any tougher. You can ride any type of terrain, any racetrack. No one really on a given day is going to be better. Your third Grand Prix win, you've won uh, championships here in the States. What in the world is left for Rick Johnson to keep the drive and the incentive going? Well, uh, just to keep winning and uh, trying to set a good example for kids, you know, trying to do the right thing all the time. Um, I don't feel my job is done yet in motocross. Uh, I want to win more championships than anybody else has. Um, and I just want to uh, keep going. Unfortunately, uh, you can win all you want, but it's tough. Oh, a few years ago, going back a number of years ago, the guy that owned Unadilla, you know, the guy that was king of this hill was Roger DeCosta. He's out here. Roger DeCosta was the man. There's no two ways about it. Okay, then Bob Hanna came along, 
And he took over the reins, and now Bob Hanna currently owns this place. And Rick, yeah! unfortunately, you can win here all you want, but just like when Roger was king, until he decided to get out of the way, then Bob took over the reins. So, you know, for you, unfortunately, when Bob decides to retire, then we'll have to call you king of Unadilla. But right yeah! now, Nice. Yeah, yeah, this is a great winner's platform. Uh, we got three brands of motorcycles up here, three champion riders, uh, and two one twenty five.
get through so quick. They didn't think Bob would be through so quick. Bob this is through, but Rick Johnson just said it's all mine, and he just took he took the trophy, took the girl, and left Hannah standing down in his hand in his pocket. <laughs> when you took over the reins from him. We just want to thank you very Here we go. I guess we got some more gold out here. Where's Guy's trophy? Right, right there. Okay, I don't know where second and third overall. Yeah. Remembers uh, the ball over into my brains out and crash. <laughs> I do. He does. Now he's leaving it with something better to remember me by. My back feather. So, <laughs> so, I'm going to say thank you to Mike Hoffman for coming out here. You know, I like being here. This is a great crowd. It's the best thing ever. Once again, uh, they are ripped off. Yeah. 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 back here again next year. Will you do it again? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. I, uh, I said, if that stinking Johnson's out front, will you lay down in the track in front of him? They all said, yeah, but I didn't see any of them. <laughs> <laughs> in a month and rather than give him all the friggin' glory, I'm gonna come here till I'm 40. Just like